हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू ई पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर आशुतोष राय फ्रॉम इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ वेजिटेबल रिसर्च वाराणसी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन मॉड्यूल प्लाज्मे फाजमिट्स इन विट्रो पैकेजिंग एंड हाई क्लोनिंग कैपेसिटी वैक्टर्स अंडर द पेपर जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिकॉम्बिनेट डी एन ए टेक्नोलॉजी आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस मॉड्यूल वी शुड हैव एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड वाई टू क्लोन लार्ज फ्रैगमेंट ऑफ डी एन ए सेकेंड द फाजमिट्स इन विट्रो पैकेजिंग एंड थर्ड द हाई क्लोनिंग कैपेसिटी वैक्टर्स बिफोर गोइंग ऑन द मेन टॉपिक आई वुड लाइक टू समराइज द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ ए गुड क्लोनिंग वैक्टर इट शुड बी ऑटोनोमसली रिप्लीकेटिंग दैट मीन्स दैट इट शुड हैव अ ओरिजिन ऑफ रिप्लीकेशन अ वैक्टर शुड कंटेन एटलीस्ट वन सेलेक्टेबल मार्कर लाइक जीन ऑफ एंटीबायोटिक रेजिडेंस एंड इट मे कंटेन अ रिपोर्टेड जीन मार्कर लाइक बीटा गलेक्ट्रोसाइडेज ग्रीन फ्लोर्स एंड प्रोटीन लाइक जीन्स एक्सेट्रा देर शुड बी अ प्रेजेंस ऑफ यूनिक रिस्ट्रिक्शन इंजाइम साइट दिस रीजन इज ऑल्सो नोन एज मल्टीपल क्लोनिंग साइट प्रिफरेबली अ वैक्टर शुड हैव स्मॉल साइज एंड ईजी टू हैंडल रिलैक्स कंट्रोल ऑफ रिप्लीकेशन टू ऑप्टेन मल्टीपल कॉपीज ऑफ रिकॉमेंडेड क्लोन प्रेजेंस ऑफ एप्रोप्रिएट रेगुलेटरी एलिमेंट्स फॉर एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ फॉरन जीन्स अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज दैट द सेलेक्शन ऑफ ए सुटेबल वैक्टर सिस्टम डिपेंड्स मेनली ऑन द साइज लिमिट ऑफ इंसर्ट द टाइप ऑफ होस्ट इंटेंडेड फॉर क्लोनिंग or expression of foreign dna on the basis of above desired qualities of a cloning vector we have categorized uh, the all cloning vectors into following types allowing the exogenous dna to be inserted scored and manipulated vectors can be classified as following plasmid vectors plasmid vectors are basically designed for cloning of small dna fragments in a bacterial host examples are puc18 and puc19 in puc18 and 19 there is a very slight difference the difference is that the multiple cloning site in puc19 is just reverse of the multiple cloning site of puc18 another example is pmb322 there are many other plasmid vectors are available these are the main like pgmt and others phasmids phasmids are single circular dna which are widely used for sequencing purposes example is m13 vector it is a single stranded circular vector and extensively used for sequencing purposes cosmids cosmids are hybrid vectors which have both origins of bacterial origin and also ori of viral origin the cos site present in cosmids enable them to packed into a viral coat and thus these are easily absorbed by the host bacterium now these are artificial chromosome vectors capable of carry mega bases of dna fragments these are bacterial artificial chromosome yeast artificial chromosome and mammalian artificial chromosomes now cosmids bacterial artificial chromosome and yeast artificial chromosome and mammalian artificial chromosomes are known as high cloning capacity vectors having capability to accommodate a huge size of dna molecule in the present table we can see different types of cloning vectors having their compatible host insert size and origin of replication plasmids cosmids both have a cole even origin of replication the cole one even origin of replication is taken from e coli their host is e coli m13 m13 is a bacteriophage which have a origin of replication f1 lambda phage p1 uh, lambda phage lambda phage has a origin of replication f1 and p1 phages have a origin of replication p1 p1 artificial chromosomes also have a origin of replication p1 the dna insert size which can be accommodated you can see here in plasmids 
1 to 5 kb fragment can be inserted. In cosmids, they can carry 5 to 47 kbs. M13 can carry slight small inserts from 1 to 4 kb. Lambda fudges can carry 20 to 30 kb fragments. The artificial chromosomes may carry 100 to 2000 base pairs of DNA insert. Phosmid vectors. Phosmid vectors have wide applicability in recombinant DNA technology. These can be utilized for DNA sequencing, mutagenesis studies, probe generation, and phage display systems. Bacteriophage M13. M13 was first isolated from the waste water from the city of Munich by Hofsinger in 1963 in Germany. M13 is a unique bacteriophage having a single standard DNA packaged into two layer filamentous, cap filamentous capsid made up of only three proteins. M13 have a small single standard circular genome of 6407 nucleotide. It was first sequenced by Sanger in 1982. A very few number of genes which are necessary for integration and initiation of replication are present in its genome. M13 bacteriophage infects only F type of bacterial host cells and enters into the bacterial cytoplasm through F pili. M13 do not lyse the host cell. It just slows down the bacterial machinery by one third for synthesis and packaging of its genome. The single standard DNA helps in sequencing and site directed mutagenesis. Phosmid vectors are plasmids having a small segment of a filamentous phage M13 or FD or F1 phage capable of carrying 10 kb passenger DNA. Examples are EMBL series plasmids and P blue script family plasmids. The M13 origin of replication allows the packing of the plasmid into a M13 phase when the bacteria is also infected with a M13 helper phase. Plasmids generally encode no or one kind of code proteins. Other structural and functional proteins necessary to accomplish the life cycle of phosmids are encoded by helper phase and generally transcribed by the host. In M13 bacteriophage, DNA is replicated by rolling cycle mechanism. In this mechanism, one strand is nicked and the free 3' prime OH is extended by DNA polymerase 3. The 3' prime end on the circle is extended while the growing point rolls around the circle template. The 5' prime end is displaced and form a tail of single standard DNA. The single standard tail is converted into double standard DNA by synthesis involving RNA primers. Rolling circle DNA replication is initiated by an initiator protein encoded by the bacteriophage DNA which nicks one strand of the double standard circular DNA molecule at a site called double strand origin or DSO. The initiation protein remains bound to the 5' phosphate end of the nicked strand and the 3' hydroxyl end is released to serve as primer for the DNA synthesis by DNA polymerase third. Using the unnicked strand as a template Replication proceeds around the circular DNA molecule. Displacing the nicked strand as a single standard DNA, displacing the nicked strand is carried out by a host encoded helicase in the presence of replication initiation proteins. Continued DNA synthesis can precede multiple single strand linear copies of original DNA in a continuous head to tail series called as concatamus. These linear copies can be converted to double standard circular molecule through the following process. First, the initiation initiator proteins make anchor nick to terminate synthesis of the first leading strand. 
RNA polymerase and DNA polymerase third then replicate the single strand origin SSO DNA to the anchor double stranded circle. DNA polymerase first removes the primer, replacing it with DNA, and the DNA ligase joins the ends to make anchor molecule to the double stranded circular DNA. By this way, phosmates have certain advantages. The carrying capacity of phosmates is higher than the phos vectors. Phosmates have higher efficiency in transformation than phos vectors. Phosmates are generally more stable than recombinant phos vectors. Phosmates can be exploited to generate single standard DNA template for sequencing purposes. Single standard phosmate vectors inside the phos can be targeted to site directed mutagenesis. Single standard vectors can also be used to generate hybridization probes for mRNA or cDNAs. One of the first hybrid phosmid uh, vector was PEMBL constructed in 1983. They are characterized by the presence of the blagene, a selectable marker for ampicillin resistance, a short segment coding for the alpha peptide of beta galactosidase that is LAGJ containing the multiple cloning sites and third is the intergenic Ig region of the FAS F1. These vectors have been used successfully for DNA sequencing with the deoxy method and can be used for other purposes for which M13 derivatives are used. However, the PEMBL plasmids have the advantage of being smaller than M13 vectors and the purification of DNA is simple. In addition, long inserts have a higher stability in PEMBL plasmids than M13 vectors. With bacteriophage such as M13, replication process is complex. Phage DNA molecules generally carry several genes essential for replication including genes for components and phage coat proteins and phage specific DNA replicative enzymes. Alteration in any of genes will impair or destroy the replicative ability. So there is a less freedom to modify the phage DNA molecules for the in vitro packaging of the phage particle of the phase vector like PEMBL8. Here in the picture you can see that the PEMBL cloning vector have a M13 DNA fragment which have ability to bind with M13 replication protein. When a helper phase is infected with it, it can self-initiate the replication process and the other components which are essential for packaging of phage particles are synthesized by helper phage. The plasmid EMBL8 was made by transferring 1300 base pair fragment of M13 into plasmid UC8 vector. This piece of M13 in P plasmid EMBL8 contains signal sequences recognized by enzyme that converts the normal double standard M13 molecule into single standard DNA before secretion of new phase particles. The sing signal uh, sequences, the signal sequence it still remains functional even though detached from rest of the M13 genome. When a normal M13 is used as helper phase provides necessary replicating enzymes and four phage coat proteins, high cloning capacity vectors. The high cloning capacity vectors are generally used for construction of genomic libraries. These include cosmids, bacterial artificial chromosomes, P1 derived artificial chromosomes and yeast artificial chromosomes. They are designed to handle larger DNA inserts much larger than the lambda replacement vectors. So they require low number of recombinants to be screened for identification of a particular gene inserts. The bacteriophage P1 is a temperate phase that infects E. coli. In its lysogenic cycle, the P1 genome remains as a plasmid in the bacterium. 
one of the important feature is that it hijacks the host machinery and integrates into the host genome the viron p1 has isohedral head and a tail with six fiber fibers which help it to anchor the host cell the p1 phage have a comparatively large genome approx 93 kb as a linear double stranded dna molecule after insertion in the host it get circularized and repli uh, replicates as plasmid the phage p1 has two origins of replication orer responsible for lysogenic cycle where as orel replicates its uh, replicates it during lytic cycle it can carry a foreign dna up to 100 kb and able to replicate in the host cytoplasm cosmids cosmids are simply hybrid vectors of plasmids and cos site of lambda phage collins and brunin in 1978 less than 48 kb foreign dna can be carried by cosmids presence of cos site enable enzyme production by the actual phage to package it into phage capsid assuming it for correct size higher frequency of recombinant inside the bacterial host and unstable inside e coli host and thus easy to lose vector as plasmids cosmids contain an origin of replication and a selectable marker cosmid also possesses a unique restriction enzyme recognition site into which dna fragment can be ligated after the packaging reaction has occurred the newly formed lambda particles are used to infect e coli cells the dna is injected in the bacterium like normal lambda dna and circularizes through complementation of cos sites the selection of transformant is made on the basis of antibiotic resistance and bacterial colonies rather than flux since lambda phage particles can accept 37 to 51 kilo base pair of dna and the most cosmids are about 5 kilo base pair in size this represents that considerably more than could be cloned in lambda vector itself artificial chromosomes artificial chromosomes are dna molecules assembled in vitro from defined constituents that are functions like natural chromosomes there are mainly five types of artificial chromosomes these are backs that is bacterial artificial chromosome yeast artificial chromosome mammalian artificial chromosome human artificial chromosome and p1 derived artificial chromosomes bacterial artificial chromosomes are designed for the cloning of large dna fragments typically from 100 to 300 kb in e coli host bacterial bacterial artificial chromosome vectors contain a single copy f plasmid origin of replication the f fertility plasmid is relatively large and vectors derived from it have a higher capacity than the normal plasmid vectors f plasmid has a fertility factor which controls the replication and maintain low copy number it also conjugates uh, also the conjugation can take place between f plus bacteria that is called male and f minus bacteria that is known as female to transfer the f plasmid via pilus common gene components of the bacterial artificial chromosomes are the ori s rep e and rep e f for the plasmid replication and regulation of copy number PRA and PRB for the maintenance of low copy number and avoiding 2F plasmid in the single cell during the cell division a selectable marker for antibiotic resistance some backs also have lac jet at the cloning site for blue white selection and T7 SP6 phage promoters which trans uh, for the transcription of inserted genes yeast artificial chromosomes or yac yak 
Yeast artificial chromosome, first described in 1983 by Murray and Sostak. A yeast artificial chromosome has sequence to exist inside E. coli as a circular plasmid and contains sequences to maintain as a linear nuclear chromosome in yeast. As yeast artificial vectors can accommodate between 100 to 3000 kb of DNA insert, the number of clones in a genomic library can be greatly reduced. Yeast artificial chromosome vectors have following elements E. coli origin of replication, yeast origin of replication, elements of eukaryotic yeast chromosome that is centromeric region and telomeric region, selection of marker for both host for bacteria as well as yeast. Yeast artificial chromosome is a vector used to clone DNA fragment larger than 100 kb and up to 3000 kb. Yeast artificial chromosomes are useful for physical mapping of complex genomes and for cloning of large genes. Yeast artificial chromosome is an artificial constructed chromosome that contains a centromeric and telomeric as well as ARS region which are required to replicate and survive in yeast artificial chromosome inside the yeast cell. ARS element are thought to act as replication origin. A yeast artificial chromosome is built using an initial circular plasmid which is typically broken into two linear molecules using restriction enzymes. DNA ligase is then used to ligate a sequence or gene of interest between the two linear molecules forming a single large linear piece of DNA. TRP1 and UR a3 gene included in the yeast artificial chromosome vector to provide a selection system for identifying transformed yeast cell that include yeast artificial clones by complementing recessive allele TRP1 and URA3 in yeast host cells. Mammalian artificial chromosomes or MAX like East artificial chromosome rely on the presence of centromeric and telomeric sequences and the origin of replication. They involve autonomous replication and segregate, uh, segregation in mammalian cells are opposed by the random integration into the chromosome. They can be modified for their use as expression system of large genes including not only the coding region but can contain the control regions. Two, part principles, uh, two principal procedures exist for the generation of mammalian artificial chromosomes. First one, the first method, telomeric, uh, telomere directed fragmentation of natural chromosome is used. For example, a human artificial chromosome has been derived from chromosome number 21 using this method. Another method involved de novo assembly of cloned centromeric, telomeric, and replication of origin in vitro. Mammalian, mammalian artificial chromosome vectors are difficult to assemble as compared to yeast artificial vectors. Mammalian DNA has higher degree of re repetition and large centromere and telomeric region. Also, the sequences necessary for chromosome replication in the mammalian systems are not well defined till now. Mammalian artificial chromosomes have application in the field of gene therapy, eukaryotic protein expression and production. So, in this module, we learned about single standard bacteriophage M13, phasmid vectors, replication in these vectors and high cloning capacity vectors like bacterial artificial chromosome vectors, yeast artificial chromosome vector and mammalian artificial chromosome vectors. Thank you.